What's up, UConn fans? Mediocre Dan here, breaking down Mr. Hotball's Burrito Night at the Excel Center. The UConn Huskies take on the Villanova Wildcat in a game that is sold out. Secondary tickets are going for well over $100, and Mr. Hotballs is going to be doing the Burrito Challenge at the under eight minute timeout. Uh, it is going to be an electric atmosphere tonight in the Excel Center as we take on one of our biggest rivals, the Villanova Wildcats. But before we jump into some game film breakdowns for tonight's action, really quickly want to introduce a new segment to you guys. It is the UConn vegas report brought to you by at the pizza state give him a follow on twitter if any of you guys are yukon sports betters he has a bunch of different yukon picks for a bunch of different yukon sports uh he gives us two locks for the night the first is the first half spread at minus 6.5 for yukon and the second is the yukon alternate team over at 77 and a half points both of those lines are available on FanDuel. now what do we know about Villanova? Well, they come in with a seven and five record, but that record is a little misleading because they are on a five game win streak ever since they got back. Their star freshman, Cam Whitmore, uh, he has totally changed their team, especially on the defensive side of the ball. They have played their five best defensive games of the season since he's returned. He's added more depth and more length to their front court, something that they desperately needed. Um, he has the ability to disrupt opponents uh, but then on the offensive side of the ball he's added another dimension to their offense as well he is a full tool set he has the ability to hit from deep although he's only 25 percent on the year from three-point land um, he has a great stroke he can get hot he can take the ball coast to coast he gets to the rim a lot loves to draw contact draw fouls get to the line so it is going to be a really fun matchup to see andre jackson go head to head with future pro cam whitmore tonight in hartford now like i mentioned defensively that's been the achilles heel for villanova all season long so how do you beat villanova on the defensive end even with cam whitmore back i want to pull up a couple shot charts here and show you guys a couple areas that we could potentially exploit today so the first one on the left that's field goal percentage by region villanova gives up a lot of three pointers um and i'll get into the reason for that in a second and they also give up a lot of field goals uh at the rim so what villanova tries to do defensively if we look at this middle chart is they try to force you to shoot the ball from the perimeter and take low value two-point shots they do that by bringing double teams basically anytime the ball gets inside the three-point line so as our guards start to penetrate we either need to kick the ball down low to sonogo or klingon um, to beat them at, at, at the rim or kick the ball out for a three we should have lots of open shots tonight for guys like hawkins caravan calcaterra aline and the bunch now offensively for villanova they have a vintage villanova offense whitmore like i said brings an extra dimension there but they still had guys like dixon slater daniels you know they play five out they have the ability to step out hit threes they do the guard back down move that we saw with jalefsi a lot uh in Previous years, they do that. They run that with their point guard, Archie Diacono, uh, where they'll back down defenders and then either kick it out or hit a slasher coming to the rim. Uh, the great good post moves by Eric Dixon. So they have a lot of different ways they can beat you on the offensive side of the ball that hasn't been their issue this year. It's been the defensive side. So like I said, there's going to be different ways that we can exploit that defense, hitting threes and getting the ball in the post where we have a size advantage uh, with Sano going wing it. But that's tonight's breakdown for the game. I'm super... Super excited. It's going to be a great matchup in Hartford. XL Center is going to be rocking. Let's go Huskies. Mediocre Dan, signing off.